485 aircraft on its books. It's time to explore the fleet of Lufthansa. Welcome back to Globetrotting, your home for aviation analysis. And today we're taking a look at that Lufthansa fleet. Why, you may ask? Well, recently, I, Dan, visited Frankfurt, and I have a lot of footage of the Lufthansa aircraft that I wanted to use. So, here we are. The video is powered thanks to Sirium. Today, though, we're focusing on the mainline brand of Lufthansa rather than all their other companies, such as CityLine. The video is being recorded in April of 2023 and is therefore subject to change. Currently, as mentioned, there are 485 aircraft on the airline's books. Now, this can include aircraft on firm orders, operation, order options, or storage. Let's focus on the aircraft in operation and in storage. Beginning with Airbus, where their A320 family of aircraft reigns supreme for the German flag carrier. They have 21 A319-100s currently in service, with two units in storage as we speak. Moving up to the most popular aircraft in their narrowbody operation, it's as you would expect 51 of the A320-200s. While 12 of these remain in storage, it's currently the A320neo that is really coming through as an emerging successor. 27 of these are in service. However, as you know, the airline has plans to acquire many more A320neos, and that goes alongside the larger A321neos, with 17 that are currently actively flying. The NEO is planned to replace the COs and acts as a natural-born replacement. The A321neos are replacing 32 currently flying A321-200s. The airline has eight of these in storage. Lufthansa, interestingly enough, does still have the A330s also on its books. However, it's only the Dash 300 variants that remain operational, with the Dash 200s in storage. 10 Airbus A330 300s remain active, completing a host of missions for the airline globally. Continuing with the theme of Airbus aircraft, Lufthansa flies the four-engined A340-2. This is a type which is future is uncertain and shaky, no matter what region it is in the industry. Given the A340's efficiency and figures in terms of finances, the aircraft is certainly one that would only fly with an airline if absolutely essential. And for the German carrier, well, they see 14-300s and 8-600s remain operational for a host of reasons. Largely, though, it's because of current demand levels and the inability to welcome aircraft on that they had initially expected. This can be due to delays and many more circumstances. Currently hauling the long haul operations alongside the A340s is that of the A350-900, which will remain unlike the 340 and even the 330, a staple of the Lufthansa fleet as we look ahead into future decades. They currently fly 20 of these, However, as expected, they're set to welcome many more in the future, as part of what the Lufthansa Group calls a massive upgrade to its fleet. Not just with mainline Lufthansa, but also those other companies such as Austrian, Swiss, Brussels and more. Although for the lovers of large aircraft, well, there's bigger planes than the A350, including the A380. Now, it must be mentioned, Lufthansa technically at the time of recording doesn't fly the A380. This is because during the pandemic, they removed the type and actually announced its retirement. However, like the Airbus A340, the carrier has been hit with delays for incoming aircraft. And with significant, maybe unexpected rises in demand that came sooner than what forecasts were telling us, well, Lufthansa has had to return some A380s to service from this coming summer. They're already making these preparations by returning a few units from storage to Germany. Lufthansa's Boeing fleet is smaller than its Airbus fleet, but that doesn't mean it's not as important, with some heavy hitters being included. The airline still flies both actively flying variants of the 747, the Dash 400, and the Dash 8 with passengers. This makes them among only a couple that actually do such a thing. There are currently eight remaining 747-400s. 
Lufthansa is also unique in that during the pandemic, and especially now, it's chosen to retain these Dash 400s. KLM, British Airways, and Qantas all immediately come to mind as airlines globally that accelerated the retirement of the Queen during the height of the pandemic, giving many not the opportunity to say goodbye. Lufthansa also has 19 of its 7478s, meaning for those enthusiasts, it's a dream to be able to see both not only the world's largest passenger plane, but also the Queen of the Skies in the same airline's operations. Lastly, the airline only recently welcomed a new type of aircraft into its fleet the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, which alongside the A350 will form a key backbone for many decades to come. They have five operational at the time of recording, with deliveries slated for many more, and also options included in that order should they wish to activate them. The Lufthansa fleet of aircraft is interesting for a host of reasons. Not only do they operate such an expansive list of aircraft types with, at the end of the day, all varying ages and uses, but they're also in a transitional phase, moving from a fleet that, let's be honest, could be described as a little bit all over the place, to one that executives believe will be more streamlined. Lufthansa are also not the only airline that is undergoing a similar transformational program with its fleet. Lufthansa can be thankful that the decision to do this isn't because, say, they're on the verge of bankruptcy, but rather have an opportunity to really change the future outlook. Additionally, it's also a result of aircraft delays that see specific aircraft types sticking around. Had circumstances gone differently, the Lufthansa fleet in 2023, in an alternate reality, could have looked very differently. But there are many ifs, buts, and maybes always. It'll be fascinating, I think, to see how the fleet develops over the coming decade and the changes we see with older aircraft departing and a bit of a streamline going on, which will no doubt be very notable. Now, we'd like to ask you, what's your favourite aircraft that Lufthansa flies? Or what is one aircraft you wish they would have operated in their history? Let us know down below in the comments. And if you would like to see a follow-up video taking a look at the future of the airline, which would also include future fleet plans, do let us also know down below in the comments and we'd be more than happy to put something together here at Globetrotting. If these fleet videos are something you'd like to see more of as well, do let us know. We thank you very much for your continued dedication and support to what we're doing here on Globetrotting. It's been very noticeable and we hope you continue to enjoy the content that will roll out over the coming weeks, months, and for hopefully as long as Globetrotting continues on your screens. And flight, and we'll fly.